if you like vigorous sex if you like rough sex please do not waste your money in buying condoms if you're the type that needs lubricant to stay wet during sexual intercourse then it is advisable you stay away from condoms or use water-based lubricant condoms are the most commonly used method of contraception today it prevents against pregnancy and sexually transmitted disease that is stds if condoms are used accurately they can guarantee at least 97 percent success rate in preventing pregnancies in today's video i'll be telling you five advantages of using condoms and the reasons why you should not use condoms if it is something you're interested in then stay with me to the end of this video i believe majority of us are familiar with the word condoms and how to use it so we will not be wasting much of our time on the description but rather we'll be talking about the advantages of using condoms and why you should not use it and the first advantage of using condom is they can be purchased without prescriptions yes unlike some other methods of contraceptions that you need doctor's prescription before they can be sued you can get condoms anywhere from your grocery stores online or even from supermarkets so you don't need doctor's prescriptions to get condoms number two they have high success rate in preventing pregnancies when used accurately Number three, protection against STD, that is sexually transmitted disease. Condoms are barrier method of contraception that prevent the exchange of bodily fluid during sexual intercourse. With this method, there will not be exchange of bodily fluid and this can prevent STDs like herpes or even HIV. So it is advisable for people who regularly change partner or people who are not in a committed relationship to use condoms to prevent STDs, sexually transmitted disease. Number four, condoms does not affect one's fertility. Yes, they are single time that is used and true. So it does not reduce your chances of getting pregnant when next you have sex. If you're ready to conceive, all you need to do is to stay away from condoms. So condoms does not alter anyone's fertility, whether male or female. Number five, condoms are easy to use. Yes, of course, we all know this. Unlike some other methods of contraceptions that needs your health care provider to administer them, like IUD, implants, or even hormonal injections. Yes, this type of contraceptions needs a physician or your health care provider to administer them in your body. But condoms are easy to use. You can use them by yourself in your space. Now, let's talk about the reasons why you should not use condoms. Number one, among the few reasons why you should not use a condom is if you have UTI, urinary tract infection, it is better you get it treated before you use condoms. I will tell you why. Some condoms are coated with spermicide. Spermicides are compounds that destroy sperm, they kill sperm, they prevent sperm from reaching the egg. And when the sperm does not reach the egg, there will not be fertilization and there will not be pregnancy as a result of this. So the work of spermicide is to kill the sperm. When using condoms that are coated with spermicide, when the spermicide gets into your urethra, urethra is just a little hole above the vagina. Yes, that is where you pass urine if you don't know. So when the spermicide gets to your urethra, it can cause irritation and it can worsen your symptoms, that is urinary tract infection symptoms. So do not use condoms if you have urinary tract infections and do not advise your partner to use one until you totally fine, until you totally treat your infections. The second reason why you should not use condom is if you're the type that needs lubricant to stay wet during sexual intercourse, then it is advisable you stay away from condoms or 
use water-based lubricants. Do not use oil-based lubricant because it can cause the latex material in the condom to disintegrate and it may tear during sex. So there is no point using condoms in this case. If you must use lubricants, then source for water-based lubricant or do not use lubricant at all if you have to use lubricant before you can be wet. And the third reason why you should stay away from condom is if you like vigorous sex, if you like rough sex, please do not waste your money in buying condoms because there is high chance that this will get to rupture during sexual intercourse. I can't recall the amount of messages I have received here due to condom rupture during sexual intercourse. If you like vigorous sex or if you like rough sex, stop investing your money in condoms because at the end of the day, it will still tear. So it's better you look for another method of contraception. And the last one I'll be sharing with you among the reasons why you should not use condom is if you are allergic to latex. Yes, if you are allergic to latex, do not use condom. If you have to use condoms, then you have to go for condoms that are made from polyurethane or condoms that are made from lambskin, which are expensive. So these regular condoms you see from your grocery stores or from your supermarkets are not for you. They can cause irritation if you are allergic to latex. I hope you find this information helpful. Kindly like, share and drop a comment if you have any in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Thank you.